we received a phone call from Samantha's friend saying we were in an accident. We heard the sirens, and we just followed the sirens. She came by helicopter from a crash that took place 40 miles away from Christ. When she came here, she was really in very critical condition. We were very concerned about whether she would even ever wake up. Well, there's a priest waiting here for us, yeah. so we were very scared. Yeah. Samantha was in a coma, but over the course of her stay, she gradually woke up. I remember that um, everybody that came in the room was like really happy and they were like treating me like a part of the family. They treated her like she was their child, it, from, from the nurses to the doctors. And the first thing that the nurse, Jill, who was attending that night said was, I believe Sam's walking out of here. And while we were gone, uh, Jill did Sam's hair and did it in a French braid and shampooed it and cleaned her all up. And we came back the next morning and saw this beautiful daughter. And uh, I hope for the rest of my life I, I retain the gratitude that I felt that morning. If her daughter didn't come here, she very well could be in a nursing home right now. Or worse. Or worse. Now I'm in a program to become a yoga instructor, so hopefully I can help others who are trying to recover. I want to hold someone's hand and let them know that this isn't the end of your life, you know, there's hope.